Alright, we recorded. Alright, good. Well, good morning, guys. I'm a little bit fucking exhausted. I stayed up until way too late trying to get that editing done, and then it still wouldn't. Export, upload, struggle is real. Let's just put it that way. So, getting a little bit of a slow start today. Um, I had a friend of mine who is kind of like a, a inside soundboard for the true crime shit. Messaged me and said, hey, Harsh uploaded a video that you should react to. Like, I don't... I don't do reactions to true crime. I'm not true crime. And they're like, dude, you gotta do it. So okay, fine, I'll do it. But like, if nothing comes of this, you and you're not gonna see this video. So if you end up seeing this, then there's something of relevance that happened in this fucking video. But as we've all seen with true crime, there lack thereof it has no. Has, I have no faith in whatever the hell I'm about to watch. So. I have no idea. You have no idea. We're going to find out together, I guess. Go ahead and jump right into this. Let's see if I can get this part of the finger down. See, I'm so behind, I don't even have this part set up ready. <laughs> My brain slags. You know what you did to us last night? Mm. All right, let's get into it. Well, hello there, you beautiful, beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. I hope you are all well. I'm and this tired. is video one of two, no, three, because we're in court later. We're in court later in Latar County, seeing what happens in that. Let's hope that um, Bill. Bill Thompson oh. doesn't have a coronary during that hearing because he was very close Some to the shit I don't after. follow. But anyway, he's looking absolutely amazing on this Thursday. Terrific, fantastic, mm -hmm. brilliant Thursday. I'm just celebrating because I actually know what day it is today. It's a rarity for me. But yes, it's Thursday. And what are we talking about My this morning? We're talking here, you're about <laughs> Riley Strain. Riley Strain was a young man who would um, would go missing after attending some bars. And he would be found a few weeks later, about eight miles away from where he went missing in the water. And since then, there has been much speculation on how he got there. There was video footage, grainy, again, looked like I've been filmed on a fucking potato. But um, it would show him staggering about, stumbling around. He'd apparently gone past this sort of homeless encampment. And yeah, then he hey, the water. It. Now, there hasn't been a mass... I'm just now noticing the title. New footage. As in the footage that I asked about months ago that the cops weren't releasing has now been released. Okay, I'm awake now. Wait, what? amount of information we know that there's been a an autopsy and then the family done their own independent autopsy but they are currently awaiting toxicology results we're still in there i think they're on about week six of a potential seven to twelve so once the toxicology comes back that should shed a lot more light on what <laughs> happened i think a lot of people feel that riley potentially was spiked something was put on his put in his drink perhaps um but look chris dingman a family spokesperson has been out and he has been doing the rounds and talking he, he was over on the pascal show and spoke about it but i just wanted to bring attention to a couple of things that are kind of moving forward in the riley strain situation so first of all we're just going to look at this which which is um riley's act there's a petition i'm um, seeking downtown nashville bars to call cabs 
um, for intoxicated individuals. There should have always been a fucking thing. Um, signatures. Petition named in honor of University of Missouri student Riley Strain has garnered over 30,000 signatures. Um, Strain's body was found in the Cumberland River on March 22nd, two weeks after he was last seen being kicked out of Luke's 32 Bridge, a Broadway bar. Um, the petition posted March 24th on Change.org is titled Riley's Act. So head over to Change.org, Riley's Act, and go and slap your signature on there if it's still up there. Um, the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission, the Tennessee State Senate, and Nashville City Council Riley's Act would ensure or require, sorry, bar staff to call cabs and Ubers for intoxicated and disorientated individuals. We we're all young once and made choices such as over drinking. Reads the petition. It is a business owner's responsibility for safety, not only at their establishment, but also for their customers to leave safely. Um, goes on to say um, a couple of things about that, and then it just says at 9.35 p.m., our security team made a decision based on our conduct standards to escort him from the venue through our Broadway exit at the front of our building, said a statement. He was followed down the stairs um, with one member of his party. The individual with Riley did not exit and returned upstairs. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking annoying, isn't it? Because, again, it's, it should be if you go out with friends and if one of them don't seem right, do you know what I mean, then make, at least make sure they get home. If anything can be learned from this, if you go out with friends, whether you're male, whether you're female, and one of your friends, don't let them fucking leave on their own. Just It might take half an hour, 45 minutes out of your fucking evening to just make sure they get in a cab, you know, get or, or 20. What, how long does it take to put someone in a cab and give them your home address and say, can you make sure he gets home, please? Do you know what I mean? If you don't want to jump in a cab with him or with her, do you know what I mean? Just just take them to a, a, take them to a taxi. How fucking difficult is that? But anyway, like I say, after this happened... We saw the footage. We've heard some different bits and pieces. But the strange thing was, not only was Riley found sort of eight miles down in the Cumberland River, but the embankment would show seemingly that in order to get f into that river, the embankment is quite steep and the terrain around it is quite rocky. So on one hand, you could turn around and say it potentially has obstacles there that could lead someone to fall into the river. That's a possibility, but you would expect there to be injuries that would be consistent with that. And the initial reports coming out of the autopsy would indicate that there was no injuries. There was no injuries. We still haven't got a clear answer on water in the lungs either, um, which is, you know, something that is also indicative of whether someone drowned or not. There are sort of variations to that in terms of dry drowning. There is a possibility for that to happen, so it's not always... A, a dead cert that someone who drowns will have water in their lungs. Look at the Kylie Rodney case, for instance. But what Chris Dingman is saying is there seems to be people coming forward and indicating there are a lot more cameras around that area and seemingly pointing down towards the river. They haven't been given this um, footage. They haven't seen it themselves. But it has been indicated there is a lot more cameras and they could produce a lot more footage that would potentially show right. Well, on them and a lot better quality as well. They, they, Think, they think and feel, do you know what I mean? That there, there could be something found on these. Um, but the question still remains is how did Riley get in the water? Let's not forget he was found just with his, um, with his boxer shorts on and a black and white shirt that he'd gone out with um, wearing that evening. Um, his boots were missing, and let's not forget as well, the, the, the jeans that he was wearing during the course of the night, they were belted to him. They're not like they were loosely fitted and no belt. They were actually belted to his body. So when he was found to be just found wearing his, um, his shirt and boxers with the, the jeans gone and boots gone, again, it's indicative of something else happening in terms of 
the the jeans not being on. Now, some may feel that perhaps he was going to take a leak by the river and he actually undone his jeans, perhaps let him fall down to his fucking ankles, who knows, and took a pee and then fell. But again, the family feel that there would potentially have been um, indicators to say that's what happened in terms of injury and there just there, there seems to be an absence of injury in that sense. But it is still a question of how he got in the water. Did he fall? Did something else happen? Did someone help him into the water? There is also questions around whether he put his phone into aeroplane mode. It would seem that on that night, his phone could have potentially been put in into aeroplane mode. And the sad thing is, is to put a mobile phone into aeroplane mode, it's incredibly easy. You don't need to have someone's fingerprint. You don't need to have their face ID on an iPhone, for instance. You literally... just swipe down from the top right hand corner of the phone and hit the aeroplane button and that is that's game over the phone is placed in the aeroplane mode but there's a lot of questions still happening we're keeping an eye on it as soon as as I get updates and see updates I will bring them to you but there's so many people going missing I see as well that there was a, another missing person um, a 44 year old gentleman I believe who's gone missing in Texas again so what with you know Kay, you know Caleb Harris as well going missing and the other young man I can't remember his name off the top of my head and people saying that there's even more you know in the background there seems to be a lot of people going missing a lot of things happening to people. And, you know, we've obviously got Sebastian Rogers as well, much younger, not the same sort of situation, but another lad going missing. And how many people have to go missing before things start changing? Let me know down below. What do you feel happened in the Riley Strain case? Do you feel this was self-inflicted tragedy? Do you feel that there's a potential that he was indeed drugged, which led to that? Even if that's the case, that is... <laughs> 